everyone it's your girl joanna and welcome to my channel i am so excited for this video because it's been a long time coming it's my apartment tour well i live in a loft it's a loft tour but i'm saying apartment in the title just because most people search apartment rather than loft this intro is going to be a little lengthy i just want to give you guys a little bit more background on myself and a little bit of history but if you don't care for that i'm just going to put a little timestamp here so you can skip straight to the apartment tour so i live in the small state of rhode island a lot of people assume I live in California but I do not I did live in California for about a year but it was not LA I've been to LA just not really my vibe and it's also very very expensive I feel like a lot of people who want to be like an influencer feel like they need to move to LA but honestly I don't I don't think so well at least for me I don't feel like I need to do that Rhode Island is where I grew up and I just love like the homey feeling it gives me so anyways I've been living here for about two years now the first year I didn't do much because I lived with my ex and then the second year I been living on my own and during the second year I did so many changes to the place trying to make it feel very homey feel like my own growing up I've never actually had a place that I felt like was home when i was young i feel like five or six years old our house burned down and then we were living in an rv for a little while i remember that clearly it was like my parents and my three other sisters all living in an rv honestly i think because i was so young i didn't really process what was really going on with our living situation that just kind of makes me think about how my parents made us feel about that situation like living in the RV even though something terrible happened I still felt safe and I was just happy to be with my family and then after the RV situation we moved into a house which I thought was gonna be like okay this is it this is gonna be our like forever home and we're never gonna move again but um, that house unfortunately burned down as well and I definitely remember that moment I was thinking like oh my god okay it happened again but fortunately we were able to like stay in a hotel just for a little bit and with like friend and family help um we were able to get back on our feet and then after that my parents fixed up that house but they sold it and we end up living in a very small one bedroom apartment I remember maybe like 300 square feet or so but it was six people in a very very tight space and then i think when i was like in eighth grade and then through high school we lived in a three bedroom apartment which was like a huge upgrade from the one bedroom through all that trauma and all of that moving i've learned to just appreciate what i have and even though i never physically had a place that i can call home just knowing that my family was safe and we were happy being around each other even though of course we fought a lot um it still was home okay i didn't think i was gonna get emotional talking about this <laughs> if i went into complete detail of like my homing situation i definitely would be like crying right now <laughs> i initially wasn't going to be talking about my history because i would tend to just like get right into the point of my video but i saw this tweet that was like posted on instagram and this person has said that I don't get why people feel so accomplished for their first apartment or something like that. Like it's not a big deal. And reading that, it bothered me because I think it is an accomplishment. And just based off on my own personal experience, it's a huge accomplishment for me to be living on my own and be able to provide for myself. I remember growing up and telling myself, I hope one day I can have my own space, my own apartment. And if I was lucky, it would be in a loft. I love high ceilings, love big windows. And that's what happened. I live in this really cool loft. It's not like the most fancy place ever, but I was able to make it my own. And this is my first place that I feel like it's home for me. I know this isn't some amazing or huge success story, but I feel very accomplished that I have met a goal that I never thought could ever happen forget what other people's opinion are of what success is and just focus on what you feel like success is that intro was not how i thought it was going to be sorry if it was very long and also emotional <laughs> um, well for me without further ado let's just get right to the door
So let's begin with the entryway. That is the door that you come through and you'll immediately see all of this stuff right here. I got this really cool Obey poster that my boyfriend gifted me so I just hung it up right in the middle here. So the reason why I got a huge ass ladder is because I store a lot of my stuff on top of the bathroom which is like all up here. This is a coat and shoe rack that I got from Ikea. And now it has a lot of like fall and winter jackets and stuff. I was just too lazy to put away. Here I have this mirror from Target and I just put a bottle of hand sanitizer, some mask and my keys right over here. And on the bottom is a cute little shelf that I got from Ikea, which was only like 10 bucks and I spray painted it black. I keep little tushy wipes for the babies after a walk. A little faux plan because there's no sunlight around here. And then treats for the dogs. Okay, this part I absolutely hate, but I just kind of use this right now to hang up these little magnetic hooks and I put the dog leashes on. Ooh, what the heck? Next to the little shelf is a shoe rack. Well, I use it as a shoe rack. It's actually, oh hi Basil. It's actually a TV unit that I had as a TV unit and now I made a little bench top right here. Um, I DIY'd it and I just placed it on top of the TV unit. Now it's like a little bench where I can sit and put on my shoes. And then on this side, it's just like a simple hook rack for like, you know, sweaters and purses and stuff. And then walking through, I have these two huge closets from Ikea. They're the Pax closets. The first closet right here holds all of my cleaning supplies. I have these pull-out shelves that hold a lot of my shoes, but it's kind of like a whatever kind of a situation up here. And then the closet next to it is my makeup closet. So I hold a lot of like my skincare, hair stuff, and of course all my makeup. I'm not gonna go into full detail of this closet because it's a lot, but yeah, for example, a little drawer for all my lipsticks and stuff. I have all my skincare in the second drawer. Yeah, this is a really big ass closet. I used to hoard so much makeup. It would be like two of these closets from what I had before. But now I just narrow everything down to whatever can fit in this closet. And every couple months or so, I tend to like clean out the whole thing just to put in the new products and stuff that I like want to try out and use and take out the stuff that I don't really use. I am very proud of this closet because it took me forever to organize. When you walk out of the entryway, you automatically see the living room and the kitchen. It's a huge open space, but I'm going to start in this corner right here next to the closet. It's kind of like a whatever corner right now. I have a fake plant. Um, that one's actually real. I did these little DIY artwork with my babies. I put their little paw prints. That's basil's. And that's baby's paw print. Just so randomly can I also share this with you guys. So it's my one year anniversary gift for my boyfriend. It's a Bissell Pet Pro Crosswave vacuum mop. I just cleaned my whole entire floor with it and I'm obsessed, like I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Definitely clean it out after you finish it so it doesn't smell. Moving on from that, I have a little setup here for my backdrops. I got these backdrop um, rolly thingies. I don't really know what they're called, but I got it from Amazon. I believe it was only like $100 and it holds up to three, which is like all I need. I used to have a whole nother system where I just always had to take it down and up all the time, but now it's just in place and I can just roll whatever one I need. It's gonna make setup so much easier. And through these doors, well, there's actually no doors, but these are my curtains that I have hung up. Let me just get this out of the way. So through here is my bedroom. I kept it really, really simple. I used to have so much more going on. You guys can kind of tell right here. If you watched like my past bedroom makeover videos, I had like a huge black circle painted there and then an orange one. But now I kind of just wanted a clean slate and just keep it super duper simple. I have a blank canvas on top of the bed. I'm gonna DIY something eventually there, but right now it's just blank. So walking in, I have this super duper soft wool rug from Article. I believe it's called the Texa Area Rug. I've been through so many rugs in just this place, but this is probably the only rug that I'm going to be keeping forever. And like I said, the rug is from Article. Moving on to the bed, this is a full-size bed. I have the bed frame from Ikea. The duvet covers are from Ikea as well. And then on each side of the bed, I have these little 
side tables that I made from the cube storage thing from Ikea and I glued on some legs that I bought from Amazon. I also have these lights that are from Ikea. You can just turn them on and they're like dimmable and that's what I really like about them. And then on this side of the room, I have a full body mirror. And I also have a wardrobe that's from Ikea. A lot of things is from Ikea. I believe this is called the Norkissa wardrobe. I got my towels on this shelf. And on this shelf, I have all my necklaces on this jewelry holder. I feel like a lot of people ask me where I get this from. This is from Home Goods, but I got it like two years ago. I'm pretty sure you can find something similar on Amazon or something like that. I want to change these out, but I got these from Target. They're like five dollars. I'm gonna put them in the closet, but I kind of want baskets that look like this. I know they have like a smaller version of this from Home Goods. And then on this side, the door just kind of slides over. It's all of my jeans hung up. I prefer it this way because I hate folding it. Um, I got these jean hooks from Amazon, so I just color coordinate it. And then on top, I have like my big bag set. I don't know where else to store. Those are just some books that I'm currently reading. I have a little like cocoon kind of bed for Basil because whenever there's like a thunderstorm or fireworks, she tends to run in there and hide. So it's kind of like her little safe space. And then of course my closet this is the biggest closet i've ever had in my life <laughs> just basic it definitely fits everything i tend to clean it out every couple weeks or so i put those like um shelves from target they're only like 25 dollars, and i stack them and i put like my pants and stuff one day i will have a huge ass walk-in closet one day walking out of the bedroom I have this huge shelf kind of unit that I got from Ikea. I believe it's called Ivar. And you can kind of customize it to how you want it. I did stain the wood. I forgot what the stain is called, but yeah, I stained all of this. This is what it looks like from a farther view. Um, you can see baby go into her cage. This was my sister's idea. She thought it would be like perfect to leave this empty so that we can push their cage in there. Both the babies like to sleep together at night in there. But right now we got Basil chilling under the bed. I told you guys that this is so soft, like Basil loves to sleep on this rug. Right here, I have this basket for an extra blanket for when I have guests or when I just kind of want to like chill on the couch watching a movie with a blanket if it gets cold. On top are these white boxes. These white, all of the white boxes are from Ikea as well. On top is a little decor. I have these LED little um, candle lights all around here. That is a fake plant. <laughs> I feel like I want to put more plants all on top of here, some real ones. So right now there's a fake one, but in due time it will grow. This top shelf is full of books and I got these little cute little leopard, I guess, um, bookends um, from Target. They were on sale for like $10. So I thought they were really cute. Here in the middle, I have some Bluetooth speakers. I have my little record player. Um, the ones I normally listen to is A Star Is Born. And this one right here, The Greatest Showman. I love, really, really love the soundtrack for this movie. But yeah, fake little LED candles from Amazon. Got this basket full of the baby's toys and treats right here. This is from Home Goods. Some more boxes to store some things. I got some decor here. That's a real plant. And then on this section is my Polaroid section. I have my Polaroid camera that I tend to um, travel with a lot. And then right here is like a photos of all my family. That's my dad, my mom, and then all my sisters. They all live in California right now. So they're all on the West Coast and I live on the East Coast. So they're pretty far. I miss them very, very much. And over here are my Polaroid books. I started taking Polaroids and collecting them and putting them all in order since 2017. This Polaroid album book is from Amazon. And I really like these because you can write like descriptions on the side. I put like the date, who I'm with, and the location. This is just all my memories through Polaroid. I can't wait till I'm like really old and I have like 60 of these books and all my grandkids are gonna be like looking through them. And then on the bottom is kind of like decor. I have this like film camera that I've used only once before it broke. I need to go get it fixed. Got these golden frames from TJ Maxx I believe. I got a fake plant and on here is like a little turtle. 
that my boyfriend Javi gifted me from when he was in Guatemala. So I just kind of placed him like right here because he kind of matches this Louis Vuitton catwalk book. I got both of these books from Amazon as well. The reason why I gravitated towards this shelf unit is because of the drawers. Just wanted some extra storage. And here are like my camera equipments. I got these dividers from Amazon. On the bottom here, I just have these two little like um, cube storage and I just put all my purses and stuff. And Babies is in her favorite spot. The new poof that I got from Target, which was like only $30. But yeah, this is Baby's favorite spot right here. Uh, she's kind of giving me that look like don't bother her. <laughs> Moving on to the living room, which is the area that I spend most of my time in. Let me give you an overall look. Keep going, keep going, and bam. Okay, so I have this huge gallery wall. I'm always constantly changing the prints inside, but right now I'm happy with how it looks. This rug is from Ikea. I really, really love it. It's super, super simple and soft. I think it was only like $80, and I think it's pretty good, especially for that size. I got this Birds of Paradise plant from Ikea like two years ago. I'm so happy about this plant and how much it's grown because I'm really not a huge plant person. I'm a huge beginner when it comes to plants. Okay, so the fact that I've been able to keep it alive for this long and the fact that it's still Still growing blows my mind but yeah we got the plant I have my little yoga mat that I do workouts on I have this blanket ladder that's from Amazon I'm going to try my best to link everything that's in my place that I can't find in the description box so any Amazon stuff IKEA stuff I will try to link that all down below and next is this TV unit, which actually isn't a TV unit. And this one is from Article, and honestly, it's my most favorite piece of furniture in my place. I just, it just looks so nice. It's like a mid-century modern kind of look. There is tons of storage. You know, open this. I have like organized boxes. I have these like leather pulls. Um, so in this first drawer, I don't have a desk, so I keep all of my like desk essential stuff right here. This is just like an organizer thing that I bought from what's it called? Home Goods. And yeah, just my laptop, iPad, planner, all up in here. The last drawer has all of my games. I gotta do this puzzle with my boyfriend because he gifted me this cute little collage puzzle just randomly. I thought it was really cute, so we gotta do this soon. And then on this side is more shelves and even though it's not labeled as a TV unit, I like that they have um, that hole, oh, the little hole in the back right there where you can throw all your wires through if needed. So that's really helpful. So yeah, my favorite piece of furniture in my whole entire place is from Article. And then for my TV, this is from Samsung. I honestly don't even know what kind of TV it is. Here's a closer look of the gallery wall. I have some mix of like um, neutral prints. I want to change this one out here. This one and this one to kind of go with these three. But yeah, look at this cute little photo of Basil. And I got these dramatic photos of baby on top. And then on this corner of the room, I have a lamp that I got from Ikea. A little plant stand that I spray painted. It was only like $10 from Walmart, I believe. But this huge thing on the side is my air purifier that I recently got because I have really bad allergies out of nowhere. Said it should be up to a little over a thousand square feet. I like how they have a little light indicator. So if it's blue, that means really good air. Green, it's okay. And then it goes to yellow, which is bad. And then if it's red, it's really bad air quality. Right next to it is one of the first furniture pieces that I bought for this place, which is a chair from Amazon. It's like black leather chair, which is actually really good quality. And it's comfortable to sit on. This cute pillow is from Marshalls. This blanket is from TJ Maxx. And for my coffee table, it's from Target. I don't like how this is a cool tone and that one's warm. So it has slight warmth to it. So what I might do is just cover the top with like a black peel and stick kind of wallpaper kind of thing so that it kind of goes with um, my TV unit. It's a lift top kind of coffee table because I tend to sit on the couch and like eat my meal and watch TV at the same time. This is like 170, which is pretty damn expensive, but you also get some storage under there as well. 
And then for my couch, a lot of people always ask me where I got my couch from. This is from Cardi's Furniture, which is a furniture store, which I only believe is on the East Coast. And I really liked it because it's really wide and you can literally like fit two people sleeping on it comfortably. In the future, I really want like a huge ass sectional. Like I really want a sectional couch, but until then, this will have to do. I have this little side table that I got from Home Goods that I got for like $25, I believe, because it's kind of scratched up on the top, but honestly, I didn't care because it looks really good. And then I have a little tray on top. I put my remote control and little candles right there. These pillows here are from TJ Maxx. And this pillowcase I got from Amazon. It was like a pair for only like $10. It's a really nice velvet cover and it matches really perfectly with this right here. Behind the couch is my dresser that I used to have in my bedroom, but now I just put it behind my couch because why not? I'm the only one living here. I just have mostly clothes in these drawers. This dresser, I DIY'd. They were individual little drawers and I put them all together, painted it black, put some legs on it. I got these handles from Amazon. So it was a bit of a process, but I really like how it came out. It's gonna look a little dark, but I got these linen curtains from Amazon. I didn't want any blackout curtains because I still wanted some light peeking through. When you're outside and the curtains are closed, you can't really see anything from my place, but I just like how the light still comes shining through the curtains. I'm giving my place this very nice soft light. In between the curtains is this huge mirror that I got from Ikea. I feel like it's the one that everyone buys because it's a really affordable, like, full length, like really large mirror. I believe it's like $130, which I feel like is affordable for this size. But yeah, this is where I checked all my outfits. And just in case some of you guys are wondering, this top is from Miss Lola. And then my bottoms are Fashion Nova. I got my vacuum here. And I have another vacuum for when I'm like kind of gone. This was a really, really nice gift from my sisters. And now we are entering the kitchen. So over here are the baby's little food area. They both have their little section. Right here I have a table. I have two chairs and the bench. I actually tend to sit on the bench more than I sit on the chairs. I got this table and bench from Ikea. This little table runner is from Amazon. These chairs have this like nice orange rustic kind of color. And I got both of these from Home Goods. On this side of the wall, I have these shelf units from IKEA. These are only like $15 for the tall ones. And the short ones are normally like 10 bucks. Very affordable. And I just kind of just keep everything in place. I have this pan and pot organizer that I got from Amazon. I really like these pans. These are the Chrissy Teigen collection in the color gray. This knife set is also from the Chrissy Teigen line that is sold on Target. I love this little section here. These huge jars are from Ikea. And of course, I got my rice cooker and my sticky rice cooker here. Moving away from that, I just have my basic kitchen. This is the first dishwasher I've ever used in my life. Like growing up, we were never allowed to use this dishwasher, but now I use it and it's, it's, it's just amazing. <laughs> On top of the cabinets here, I have some plants. This one's fake and that one's fake, but the rest is real. To decorate it, I put up these frames. A lot of the prints I bought off from Etsy, but this one in particular is a painting that I got done when I visited Paris. You know when you go into like the whole touristy areas of like places and they have people like drawing you with the big heads and stuff? I didn't really want that and when I came across this guy, he had these like watercolor paintings that I thought was really beautiful. I am so proud of this plant right here. I think it's like the Swiss cheese plant. I don't really know the real name of it, but look how much it has grown and I kind of just like have it um pinned out onto the wall right here because it's really really long and then right here i did a little diy little plant propagating kind of thing on the wall i have an igtv for it so if you guys want to know how i made this that will be in the description box down below and then i have my fancy little automatic trash can <laughs> And then last but not least is a bathroom. I'm just gonna turn on the light. FYI, I hate the light because it's like this orangey yellow light and I don't like that. The cabinets here matches the kitchen. I did change out all of the knobs for the kitchen and the bathroom in here. I have this shelf unit thing that is from Ikea and it matches very well with these little, um, I guess storage unit things. I have fake plants in here because you know, you don't get any light. Towel, a little, 
kind of first aid kit. These two little baskets, these have like face towels. And then in here are kind of like storage for like medicine and whatnot. This is my shower. I really, really wish I had a bathtub, but this will have to do for now. This shower curtain I'm obsessed with because it's so cute. This is from Target, I believe. And then right in here, basic ass shower, nothing crazy. Got some hand soap here from Tea Tree. This little thing is from um, Target. I have this mirror that holds a lot of my skincare stuff. I wanted to change this out, but honestly, it's useful. I like the storage that it has in there. This, on the other hand, I really, really don't like the light, but like it doesn't bother me enough to change it. And that was the bathroom. And I kind of have this full length mirror here on the door as well. Just more mirrors equal more light spread around everywhere. My arm hurts holding this up. Okay, now it's too low. <laughs> but there you guys have it. Finally, my loft tour. Again, I apologize if the intro was a bit lengthy. I'm really happy that I have my own space and a place that I can call home. It's been a long time coming. I'm 25. My next big goal is to buy a house or even build a house one day. Maybe in a couple years, who knows? But that's what I want to do next. Because I definitely don't want to keep renting. I was a bit nervous um, kind of opening up about my living situation history but hopefully that can inspire any of you guys just to get to where you want to be whether it's your first apartment or your first house or whatever it is but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i will try my best to link as many things below in the description box if you have any questions go ahead and comment that down below um give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and yeah i'll see you all next time bye